All right, welcome back to LearnWire. We're gonna jump right in. It's been a while since I've done a surge graph video or tutorial. So they've made recently made a bunch of new changes or updates. We can go into my email that I got from them. And apparently the long form AI writer that we've grown to know is now called Time, I believe. Not really sure, but I would just make a guess that either a couple different things. One, the long form AI was just not catchy enough, right? I mean, it's really just stating the obvious that it's a long form AI writer, but even more so maybe that somebody else already kind of has that name registered or something and so they had to change it so they came up with something that i definitely don't think anyone else has had so this is their long form ai writer is now rebranded to time 2.0 version update right here here we go so we're going to look in each one of these so custom links and keywords optimization we've got all these different things that we can go through they've gone through the 13 updates right here to the software so we're going to jump right in i'm going to go in and grab a keyword and we'll go through this together and see what kind of content we can get out of surge graph okay so i'm going to go with i'm going to use this is se ranking this is my keyword tool of choice the two that i've been using is insta keywords and se ranking i kind of use them interchangeably when i need some keywords on the fly i'll use insta keywords but if i want to also really dive into a little bit more of the difficulty levels and do a little bit more research and competitive analysis and so forth i'll use se ranking so right over here i did a search for a seed keyword of email marketing we come down here and i actually like this one right over here it's a little bit more on the high end not sure if i'll be able to rank for this but we're going to go with that so i just copy this right here we'll go over here and i'll go into surge graph and we have these different settings right over here 2500 words to 3500 words i'm going to go ahead and move it to the lower dial and see what we can get with that i'm going to go ahead and throw that keyword in right here and then that's basically all you need to do is just create document if you have a chat gpt you can get lsi keywords as well i went ahead and used one of the ai prms right over here and it did all this work for me i went ahead and said hey now give me this list of comma separated format remote marketing jobs so it could give me this list right here i think that this was the lsi version and then we came over here and we we got all these keywords right here so i'm going to show you that is our content brief ready here we go so i'm going to say continue generate right here so the right over here the the tone, simplifying the tone is this one right here, number three. And if we come back over in here, you remember they had some weird stuff. They had like legal and they just had some stuff in here, whatever they called it. I know one of them was like legal and so forth. It just didn't make a whole lot of sense. So they've kind of simplified this and gone with a little bit more of the ones that we're used to seeing. I don't see friendly in here, but we do see conversational, formal, persuasive, humorous, authoritative, empathetic, inspirational, and informative. So we're gonna go with conversational, I start writing. Okay, so it's done. That was extremely fast. It wrote the content very fast. One of the updates as well, we'll just go through, is the simplification or the optimization of the introduction, revamped introduction. Introductions are more concise, coherent, and logical. Also, there are more diverse options when generating documents on similar topics, which ensures more unique writing styles. So this is the introduction right here. I still think that that's pretty long introduction, but I do like how it's, it is split up. I don't see any major giant chunks of text in here. So they are getting better and better at optimizing the text the output that is coming in. We're getting a lot of listicles, a lot of bullet points and so forth. The only thing that I don't see in here that they haven't been able to add in is tables, but they looks like they have pretty much everything else. I also would like the option to add a key points section at the beginning. I really like that. And that's kind of been the trend of this last year. Have you ever wondered about entry level email marketing positions in today's digital landscape? Email marketing plays a crucial role role in connecting businesses with their customers. It's an effective way to reach a wide audience and drive engagement. If you're curious about this potential career opportunities, you're in the right place. When I first started exploring entry-level marketing, so there's the I and the conversational in first person. So I like that. I was amazed by how essential they are for businesses of all sizes from creating compelling content, blah, blah, blah. In the following sections, we'll dive in. So it is, it's pretty good. It is, it's kind of a long introduction. You could take out the story. It's using these similes and stories right here we could really just take that out and go with the first one right there if you wanted to i'm going to leave it in here great the introduction has been written following the provided template so you this is why you have to 
read AI content, especially when the way that I look at Surge Graph is that you can get the content that you want. You're gonna probably, when you're using Surge, you're going to be spending a little bit more time on your content. And so you definitely wanna read through it. But like right here, look, it added this in. This literally, the introduction has been written following the provided template and guidelines. That is, that's not good. That shouldn't be in there. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. And if that happens again, I'll go ahead and make a Loom video and I'll send it over to the creator, to the Surge Graph team and have them look at that. Instead of adding a two more keywords, here's one of the other features, right? When we come back over to my email, custom links and keywords auto optimization. So we'll come back over here. And if you go to the SEO tab and then we go to add items, here's where I can go and grab my notepad, right? And I have some links, okay, on the page. I'm gonna save this link for a minute because that's another one that I wanna show you, but I'm gonna grab these four links right here. I'm gonna copy that and I'm going to throw the links in right here. Now, I think that this is sort of built with the idea for external links, but this does not know my website. So these might be able to be any links you want. So this is a way that I'm hoping, I'm testing this out for the first time. I'm hoping that we could actually add our list of internal links, right? So I went to, on my blog, I went to Realistic Pay, I went to the search bar, I typed in email marketing, and I found all these articles that I, we've written about email marketing, right? And so I pulled all those up. It took, you know, five minutes, maybe three minutes, and I grabbed all those URLs, right? And so then that's what I'm putting in right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab our keywords. I think it did say a max of 20. Right over here, it said a max of 20. So I'm not really sure how many this is right here. So we'll just go and grab half of these. I'm going to copy that and go and paste these in right here. And I'm not sure how many, but that's good for now. And then we can save changes and auto optimize now. And then we'll go and see if it's going to analyze our content. And it's going to hopefully add these links in there and add some of these keywords in there as well. Now it might, okay, so here we go. We'll go look and we can accept some of these changes. Another one of these over here as well. So kind of moving fast guys, just wanted to show you they had one is as well as they've enhanced the SEO scoring and that's gonna be the total that we get on the SEO score. And we'll see that in a minute. They've upgraded the precision on the contextual terms auto optimization. And then they've also refined the way that this, this only takes a sentence at a time and it used to take entire paragraphs and completely change an entire paragraph just to add keywords or make optimizations. Now it's only taking a sentence at a time. So you can come through here and you can do all these or you can just accept all, okay? So I don't see any of the links that went in because perhaps those links, let's just say email marketing jobs. I'm gonna go back over because I don't see any links that got put in. So I'm gonna go back over, exit that view. I wanna go back in here and I actually want to just go like this and just say, actually any keyword you want to include in your content, separate the commas, that is, it's supposedly it was supposed to add those. Okay. So I'm um, not really sure if it added them or not. Let's go and see if it added this keyword right here. I'm going to copy that. It did add the, it did add it. Look at this marketing jobs for beginners. And I think that that's why we have to go and do the auto optimize, optimize feature. Those couple that I clicked, it actually added those keywords in. Let's go and check one more. That's pretty cool. Entry level digital remote. Cause I think we did a couple of those, right? So it didn't do that one. Okay. So pretty cool. We'll keep cruising through here. Another thing that it has is the publish feature. That is one of these as well. So we have the auto save WordPress credentials for post publishing. I'm having a little bit of com complications with this as it's not publishing the content. So I've already emailed Surge Graph, but they'll get that cleaned up. They've also done a removal of competitor and brand keywords from the contextual terms as well. Here's another one of them made a description generator. So we can actually come over here. And once we generate that made a description, it's optimized 160 characters or less, and then it will, it'll save that. That, right so we can come over back over to outline and then if we go back over to publish it's always going to so if you guys remember if you guys have been early adopters of surge graph you you'll remember that they used to you'd have to do this every single time it was super super annoying so they're really listening to the audience and making the improvements as needed another one of them is if we make a change in the outline over here it will actually automatically update across the outline over here on the right hand side as well so that's pretty cool as well another one that I wanted to show you was this one right here so if you do know if you have something that you interlink to a lot, I'm going to copy that. And if I go email marketing jobs right here, and I want to highlight this with a link, you can actually just put this in right here and push done. You don't have to type the entire URL anymore. And then it interlinks that. So super cool. I didn't see any of those other links automatically added. Let's go over here to link. All right. So let's go do some auto optimization. I'm going to accept all right here. And then we're going to come down we're going to accept all those as well. And that should 
be, okay, here we go. So effective email marketing campaign. So it did link that one right there. We added this one manually and then it added this one right there, but that's the only one that I see that it automatically added for us. We're gonna go into the auto optim optimize feature. So now it's gonna analyze our content and we're gonna go and optimize this with the really cool one click auto optimization feature. We'll be right back. Okay, so it's done. So you can take a look at all these and you can go down and accept them one by one like that, right? Or you can just push the accept all button right here. It's going to optimize all these, accept all. It's going to optimize all of those as well. And then you can go over here and you can exit the optimization view. Okay, so one thing that I did because this term, this this keyword doesn't seem to bring in a whole lot of contextual terms. But if you go to the topics and you add these, you'll also improve your score over here. So what I did was I went and I added these. And what you can do is you can just highlight them and you can say write for me. And surge graph will go out there and write for you. You'll just need to go and push a return right there and highlight and make it a paragraph. And you'll just keep working down the list right here. You'll just highlight this and you will hit write for me. And you can see the score will continue to go up. We will enter that as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up real quick and be right back. All right, two more features to show real quick is they also added this nice fancy back to top button. You can just push that button and go all the way to the top. I really like that, super cool. Let's go add some links now. So we can go and add a link. And all you have to do is just come over here to the links right here and just click on it. If you come over here, if you click right here, it's actually gonna open up the page. So you don't wanna click that. You wanna click this plus button. Plus plus button, your score is probably gonna go up. Wow, we just moved up a couple of points and we have added this external link right here, okay? So we can keep coming down right over here. We'll just add another one right here. So we'll highlight that. And then we'll come over here and we will add one more right here. And then we'll just keep scrolling down. So these are some popular links. This is one of the cool features of Surge Graph is that it's gonna go out there and let's see right over here. Let's just find something, maybe spending quality time, boom. And then we will go and add a link right there as well. And so this is one of the cool parts about Surge Graph is that it does this research and finds these common sites that are being used in other content. And then we can quickly come through here and you know, add a link by just coming over and pushing the plus button and then it adds an outbound link, right? So once you get through going through these sites, cryptocurrency right here, we'll add one more and we'll add this one by pushing the plus button and we'll see our score continues to just keep going up as we continue to optimize. So as you come over here, you've added your questions, you've added your external links, all of our contextual terms right over here, I guess accommodation, we haven't really um, added anything. We have a really low keyword density, so we might wanna add in our keyword as well at the top. So we've added it in right over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just underline that real quick, maybe bold as well. You can see we have a 77 well-optimized right here. You can scroll down and look at your content. It looks pretty good. I think Surge Graph does do a lot of the research. It gives you a ton of options over here <clears throat> from the long-form AI outline creator, from choosing the tone of voice and sticking to it. You can create the, you can and change the creativity and readability. <clears throat> you have all these different topics you can continue to add into your content. You have questions we could also add in as well. We have all of our external links. You saw how we could easily add internal links as well. You have your contextual terms. Now, normally there's a lot more. I just think that it struggled with this keyword over here. And then you have your SEO optimize features down here. We can also go down here and start adding in images and alt text and all these different red X's. If you optimize those right there, then you know that you're gonna improve your score even more and get into the 80s. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and we went over the main point of the video was to go over time version 2.0 and the 13 major updates that they have made to their tool. There'll be a link below if you want to go check out Surge Graph. It is one of the most affordable powerhouse power packed AI writers that I have seen on the market today. We'll see you in the next video.